Hi and welcome, my name is Nicola Beer and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about what to do if your partner has no social life, if they're boring, if they're just staying in all the time, if they don't want to do anything other than watch TV or just be in the home. It can be very frustrating. You may feel that they're not adding anything to, into the relationship. They've got no new stories to tell. They're just there all the time. You may want some space. It can be very frustrating. And sometimes it can make you think, am I really happy in this relationship? So in order to change this, the first thing you need to look at is why. When I work with people, as you may or may not know, yes, I'm a specialist in relationships, also in anxiety and low self-esteem and that low depressed mood. And often when I work with either the couples or individuals, the reason that they are staying at home a lot can be down to low self-esteem. They have social anxiety. They feel a lack of confidence. They feel uneasy trying new things, doing new things, meeting new people. So they just stay in. And then the more they stay in, the more the fear grows, the more their aversion to go and socialize and to do activities. So that can be one reason why some people have just become boring in your eyes, of course, and just want to stay at home. Another reason that it happens is where somebody is focused on saving money. Money can stress people out at the best of times. And if a person is on a really high saving mode, if they struggled previously and they've got a fear that their financial future is not secure, or they're not having enough money, or even they can carry fears from childhood and they don't want to spend any money, so they just want to stay at home. They don't want to spend money on socializing, on events, and then that makes them just switch off from all other things and just use things that don't cost any money, like just reading or staying home and watching TV or things that cost very little money. So if that's the reason why maybe you talk to them about that, maybe you create a budget together where you can have some fun activities, either you do it together or apart, and there's money in that you're making sure that you're actually enjoying your life in the now. Whilst there are so many people that spend everything and don't think about the future, there's similarly a lot of people that will not spend anything in the moment and are saving it all for a rainy day and there, there needs to be balance. We need to be enjoying our life now and saving for the future in an ideal world. And then there is not feeling good in the body. Sometimes people want to hide at home because they feel unattractive in, for whatever reason. And so helping them boost their self-esteem, getting them into some activities or some things they can do to feel good about themselves, whether that's inner work, like listening to guided meditations, hypnotherapy for self-esteem. In fact, I've got a free one on my website, a confidence one, so you can just go to nicolabeer.com and listen to that, download it for free. That will start to shift your mind into feeling confident, happy, good in your body, good in yourself. And there are other things that you, know, you can do to boost your mood, so looking at that. And then the other main reason that I find people are just wanting to stay in all the time, not socializing, and just living that kind of same existence every day is because they're a workaholic. They want to work, 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 rest, work, 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 rest. And they're so fixated on being successful on their financial goals, on their career goals, their business goals, that it's become an obsession and anything that might interact with that, interfere with that, just gets completely squashed. Now, I can relate to a lot of these things that I'm sharing. I lived with someone for three years who would just watch reruns of TV from 11 o'clock at night till four in the morning after they'd work all day on their laptop and that was their way of unwinding and they didn't want to do anything because they were tired and exhausted 
from their TV waves switching off. And in the day they were working all the time. And after a while, I was just like, hello, I'm here. And, you know, it, it got annoying for me. And when I addressed it with them, at first there was a bit of friction. At first, not physically, of course, um, but there was a bit of friction. They didn't like it. And then I was just like, okay, I said, look, if you're really happy living this life as you're living it, then I'm happy for you. But I don't feel that you're very happy living like this. You're not smiling. You've got no energy for anything. Your gym has slipped. And they were like, yeah, you're right. And so then we created some fun activities, some new things that we could do together. And then the other days of the week where I just left them alone and if they wanted to watch reruns of TV, then he could. So it's about trying to find out why it is if you feel that your partner's boring or they're not doing anything else and trying to support them with it. Some other couples that I've worked with, they've decided, right, this is our fun money because financial was a reason that this woman was staying at home. This is our fun money and this is what you get to spend on yourself and this is what we're saving. So please enjoy the now. And that really worked for them. So looking at the reason why, if you keep telling yourself also, my partner's boring, they don't want to do anything, they've got no energy, you're going to start to find them less attractive. And that's going to impact your relationship. That's going to create frustration. That's going to create a distance between you because you can feel if someone's annoyed at you. You can feel if someone has a negative thought about you. You can feel resentment. A person doesn't even need to say anything. But you can feel it in the energy, the tenseness in, in the air. And if one of you has resentment or repetitive negative thoughts, you know what I'm talking about. It could even be just like putting down a pen and going like that if you're not that happy. So looking at why, supporting one another, coming up with some new interesting activities. There are so many things you can do. It doesn't have to cost a lot. Start creating some positive change for you and your relationship if this is happening for you. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Lots of exciting, positive new videos coming out soon. If you'd like to connect with me further, go to my website. From my heart to yours, wishing you an amazing day or evening ahead whenever you're listening to this.